Welcome to a tutorial on digital electronics and today we're going to discuss about the decoders, okay? So decoders are a type of digital circuit or rather digital devices, okay, that comes under the, uh, you know, classification of combinational logic circuits, okay? So they come under, you know, combinational logic circuits in digital electronics, okay? So these decoders are, you know, certain digital devices in which we can select an output line, okay, by inputting a particular input code corresponding to the line which we want to select, okay. So let's just, you know, for example, take this square box that I'm drawing here as a decoder, okay, let this be a decoder. So here, uh, before we move on to the details of a decoder, let me just tell you, if n represents the number of input lines of the decoder, okay, so these are the input line, number of input lines of the decoder, and m represents the number of output lines on the same decoder itself, then the number of input and output lines, okay, in a decoder are connected by means of a simple mathematical relationship which can be summarized as m equals 2 to the power n, which means that the total number of the output lines of decoder is equals 2 to the power the total number of input lines. So if a decoder has, you know, two input lines, you know, then it will have a maximum of four output lines, okay? And if the decoder or the same decoder has, you know, three input lines, for example, then it would have eight input lines, uh, sorry, output lines, okay? So M represents the number of output lines of a decoder that it can hold or rather have for maximum, okay? And N is the maximum number of input lines that are present on the decoder. So basically this rep represents the relationship between the input and output lines of a decoder and this is, uh, you know, uh, one of the main uh, or rather basic theories of the decoder, okay? So uh, here, as we can see, uh, let's just take, for example, our decoder over discussion here. Let's say that it has uh, two input lines, okay? So uh, we draw two input lines over here. Let's say consider this as I1 and consider the lower one as I0, where I1, let's say it represents the MSB of the binary code input and uh, I0 represents the LSB of the binary code input. So these two lines, that's the I1 and I0, represent the inputs to the decoder. So corresponding to two input lines, our decoder should have four output lines. And we can see here, two, three, and here's the fourth one. So let me just name them this way. Let this be, uh, let's say, D0, and then uh, D1, D2, and D3. Okay. So in a decoder, uh, now this decoder, as we can see here, has two input lines and four output lines. So from this, we, if we just try to name the decoder, we would name this decoder as a two to four decoder, okay? So here, as we can see, uh, the first digit in the name of the decoder represents the number of input lines that it has, okay? And the second digit, that's four over here, represents the total number of output lines that the decoder has in all, okay? So basically, a decoders are named uh, somewhat in this way, okay? So if we just now, uh, you know, shift our focus to the operation of a decoder, okay? I'll give you the, or rather just summarize you how a decoder basically works. So I need to, you know, make a truth table first. Let's say we have the inputs to our left, okay? So this is I1, which is the MSB of the binary code input, and here is the I0, which is of course the LSB of the binary code input to the decoder. All right. Let's say on the right we have our output section, where I just, uh, you know, put the, you know, the output lines over here, that's D3, D2, D1, and D0. So now the decoders, what they're basically used uh, for is that the decoders are used to select a particular output line on the decoder itself, okay, among all the output lines that are present on it. So it requires to select a particular output line among all the output lines that are present on uh, the decoder by means of inputting a, you know, proper or rather the respective 
binary code corresponding to the output line that we want to select. So let's say if we want to select line D2, then we need to, you know, supply the binary code input corresponding to the line D2. So now this binary code input that we would uh, require over here must, you know, correspond to the decimal notation of the line D2. That's two over here. So uh, our decoder that we're discussing over here is a 2 to 4 decoder. So uh, at the input, we can see that it can have a maximum of a 2 bit input. Okay. So our decoder under discussion can have a maximum of 2 bit of, uh, you know, binary code input. Okay. So based on that, uh, if I'll just uh, take a look over here, based on that, if we just input a code of, let's say, uh, zero zero then its corresponding decimal code or rather it would just correspond to the decimal zero over here and uh, similar to it that if we just uh, input another two-bit binary code of let's say just zero one it would you know represent the decimal one and similarly if we just input the uh, or rather just uh, you know take the binary codes one zero and one one they would respectively represent the decimal digits two and three okay so based on this fact our decoder that's our two to four decoder basically uh, is used for operation okay so if we just you know uh, supply the input code of uh, zero zero uh, in place of i1 and i0 at the inputs then we would have the line d0 selected as the input code here that's zero zero in a binary would correspond to the decimal zero that's the notation of the line d0 right over here so basically the line d0 would uh, on being selected would move on to logic one state okay and rest of the unselected lines would remain at logic zero state similarly if we want to select line d1 we would you know supply the code of uh, zero one over here and that would uh, uh, you know bring the line d1 or rather just select the line d1 <coughs> Sorry, that's just a bit of cold, okay? So, no need to bother about that. <coughs> Excuse me again. So, um, here as we were discussing uh, right here, that if we just input the code of uh, 0, 01 again at the input, then the line D1 would get selected, okay? On, in, uh, you know, supplying the input code of 0, 01 at the inputs, we would select line D1, and line D1 would move on to the logic one state while the rest of the unselected lines would remain at logic zero state okay so similarly upon inputting the binary code of um, one zero and one one we would select respectively the lines d2 and d3 and the rest of the unselected lines would remain at logic zero as said earlier okay so that's how this whole thing works okay and now uh, this uh, decoder that we have discussed here is basically a 2 to 4 decoder and uh, apart from that okay apart from that there are other types of decoders also available okay which are uh, known as uh, let's say we have 3 to 8 decoders okay that's the uh, okay uh, given or rather these 3 to 8 decoders are you know available in the markets as 74LS138 uh, decoder chip okay so this decoder chip over here represents a 3 to 8 decoder okay there are there are other types of decoder chips available in the market as 74 um, ls139 which is a dual okay it's a dual 2 to 4 decoder chip okay so basically uh, like that there are several types of decoder chips that are available in the market there are also 4 to 16 decoders and so on and uh, the 4 to 16 decoders are the maximum uh, you know size of decoders that are available in the market and basically by uh, naming uh, you know the number of inputs and outputs in a decoder we just specify or rather this is basically a convention of specifying the size of the decoder by uh, you know just uh, mentioning the number of inputs and output lines that the decoder has okay so basically uh, summing up the decoders are you know certain digital circuits which are generally used as ic packages but apart from that if you want to you know make the decoder using discrete components or rather let's say for example if you want to construct a circuit of a decoder by using logic gates that is also possible okay 
So if you want to uh, just uh, you know construct the decoder circuit by means of logic gates, this is the way how you should do it. Okay, so here we have our diagram, and if you take a closer look at these circuits, then these are basically the circuits of decoders. Okay. So to the left we have a decoder constructed by using AND gates as you can see here. So these AND gates are, you know, basically uh, their outputs are named as the D0, D1, D2 and D3 right here. Okay. So if you take a look at the truth tables here, A and B are the, the two input bits. Okay. Since it's a 2 to 4 decoder where A represents the MSB of the input code and B represents the LSB. Okay. So here, as you can see, if uh, A and B are uh, kept at, uh, you know, the, if the codes A and B, okay, are, uh, you know, given as 0, 0, okay, then uh, the line D0 gets selected over here, okay, and uh, it moves on to the logic 1 state, whereas the other unselected lines, that is D1, D2, and D3, they remain at logic 0 state. Similarly, upon selecting the line, let's say, D2 over here by uh, inputting a binary input code of 1, 0 uh, respectively at A and B. So here you go. We can, uh, you, if you'll just take a look right over here, okay, you'll see that A has the binary code 1, okay, and B has the binary code 0. So therefore at the A and B inputs we have the code 1, 0, okay. Now that basically selects the line D2 uh, since 1, 0 corresponds to decimal 2. So here you can see line D2 gets selected and moves on to the logic 1 state, whereas the other unselected lines, that is the D0, D1, and D3, remain at logic 0 states. So, respect, so that's how uh, this uh, circuit basically works, okay? And here are we have the two NOT gates that act as inverters and depending upon the necessary code input at A and B respectively, they just select the required, uh, you know, AND gate in order to uh, send it, send the respective output line to the logic 1 state as desired by, uh, you know, the input binary code uh, at A and B. So basically this uh, circuit that I showed you over here, that is this AND gate uh, circuit of the decoder. <coughs> Excuse me. So this AND gate type uh, decoder circuit that I just uh, demonstrated over here is an active high circuit. So the active high scheme of operation says that uh, whichever you know line is being selected on a decoder would move on to the logic 1 state and the unselected lines would remain at logic 0 state. Okay, so that's the scheme of active high operations which exactly uh, that occurs over here. The line that's being selected, let's say D0, D1, D2, D3, whichever one of them is just selected by uh, the necessary or rather by the respective input binary code, they go to logic 1 state whereas the unselected lines remain at logic 0 state. But uh, on the, if you just look at the uh, diagram on the right hand side, then over here you would see that uh, this diagram is not all that different from the previous one uh, to the left. But uh, the only difference is that the AND gates in uh, the previous diagram that's on the left is just replaced by NAND gates, okay? So whenever we use uh, NAND gates in place of AND gates while constructing a decoder using logic gates, then we obtain an active low decoder circuit, okay? So this 2 to 4 decoder circuit is an active low decoder, okay? So active low scheme of operation means that whichever line or rather whichever output line is selected by the input binary code, it goes on to the logic zero state okay contrary to what happens in case of the active high operation whereas the unselected lines remain at logic one state so if we just take a look over here so if we just input the binary code of uh, 0 1 in order to select the line d1 then the line d1 gets selected but the line d1 upon being selected moves on to the logic zero state whereas the other unselected lines that is d3 d2 and d0 they remain at logic one state Okay, so if again we try to select the line, let's say D3, by inputting the binary code 1, 1 at A and B respectively, okay, where A is the MSB and B represents the LSB of the binary code input. So having a input binary code of 1, 1 at A and B, we select the line D3, and upon the line D3 being selected, it moves on to the logic zero state, 
whereas the other output lines or rather yeah the unselected output lines okay they remain at logic one state so that's basically the active low scheme of decoder operation so having said that this is basically how we would uh, you know construct decoder by means of using uh, your discrete logic gates okay so having said that we just round up our discussion on uh, the decoders respectively okay so i hope you'll have you know gained some sort of knowledge about how a decoder works and all so see you in the next tutorial on uh, digital electronics until then it's thank you for now and goodbye